and welcome back everyone, I am the December 89 and welcome back to the Blackwell Unbound. Last time we um, we spoke to the ghosty, I think, and he mentioned something about a Mitchell guy who worked for the New Yorker. So um, as we don't have a location for the New Yorker, maybe we should call them. Uh, call... should we call our brother actually? Yeah, let's call our brother. Hello? 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 Lauren, is that you? Maybe. Sis? Jesus. Now why'd you go and do that? Just back off, okay? Back all off. Alright, alright. This is me backing off. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's call the New Yorker now. New Yorker. Hello? Hello? Thank you for calling the New Yorker. How can I help you? Hello. Uh, so how yes. can I help you? I'm trying to reach a reporter named Mitchell. Let's see now. Mitchell. Mitchell. We have a Joseph Mitchell on staff. Is that him? Yep. I guess it's worth a try. Is he in? Yes, he is. Hold, please. It's like the middle of the night. How is he in? Honestly. He's not answering. Maybe I should go up there in person. Maybe. Yeah, we should go there. Now we should have the location for the New Yorker building. Let's get out of here. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Right behind you. New Yorker, perfect. Yes? Yes. Can I help you? Are you Mr. Mitchell? I sure am. I'm Lauren Blackwell. Well, do come in, Miss Blackwell. Man, Miss Blackwell just has the biggest rack on her, doesn't she? Never mind. <laughs> I was hoping that you could help me. Well, I'll do what I can. What is this regarding? Are you a reporter, or...? He has the weirdest southern accent ever. It's a bit hidden. It's not that pronounced as I expected. I'm just doing some research. No, I'm just doing some research. Ah, uh, see. You're a student. More a student of life. Ah, uh, aren't we all? So what can I do for you, Miss Blackwell? Well, you can tell me, um, wh why you murder in your free time. So how long have you been working here? Do you always ask such personal questions? I'm just curious about the sort of work you do. I write about people, Miss Blackwell. What sort of people? Not the famous sort. Just ordinary people, like you or me. Ordinary people, like me. You find that amusing? Oh, not at all. Not at all. No, it's just a totally ordinary person. Don't mind Joey. So, um, let's open a no notebook and uh, let's ask more about himself. So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon. I beg tell your pardon. Yourself. Yes, I heard you. I hope you didn't come here simply to interview me. I'm afraid I'd make a poor interview subject. I'll decide that. So tell me about yourself. I oh, beg okay. you. Tell me. Let's talk about a Mr. Ghosty person that you killed. I'd like to talk about Isaac Brown. Ah, uh, Isaac. Isaac. You knew Isaac? Sort of, yes. I'm looking into his death. Really? That was almost five years ago. Why the sudden interest? Let's just say that I have a personal interest in clearing it up. I see. Five years ago, that's quite a long time ago. He's been hanging around that bridge for five years. Anything else you can tell me about Isaac? Why do you want to write about him? I don't want to go too in depth. Out of respect, you understand? Sure. I was drawn to him for the same reasons I'm drawn to anybody I write about. I felt he had a story that could reach people, enrich them, perhaps learn from. Really? Miss Blackwell, spend some time talking to the poor and the downtrodden. Walk down the Bowery and speak to the half-wits and the have-nots. In one hour, you'll learn more from them than you would from a lifetime of schooling. A lifetime of schooling, eh? So what was Isaac's story? I know he played in a band called the Sea Sharks. Then something obviously went wrong. What was it? Listen, have you tried asking Mr. Sharp? Yes. He's not talking. I don't blame him. He's probably feeling guilty. Guilty? Why? He has his reasons. Could you, uh, I don't know, tell me what those reasons are? Please? I can't do that. Oh, come well, on. Of course he can't. Of course he can't. I'm sure I'm gonna make him. Tell me. Mr. Mitchell, I need to know what happened. What? Listen, I don't like this. I don't feel comfortable talking about people without their consent. I won't say any more about Isaac or his sister. Oh. Sister. 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 Uh, sister. Please, I'm not going to say anymore. 
That's okay, you said enough. I'm gonna be back, probably. Who was Isaac's sister? I told you, not another word. Not another word. Your accent is weird. Well, conclude our interview for now. I think that's all for now. All right. You have a good night now. Yeah, have a good night now. I'll be back, probably in the same night. Uh, whoa, were you kissing Joey? <laughs> uh, let's go to Johnny Ivory's and ask Cecil about his sister and what the deal was. Hey, Cecil. You're happy to see Cecil? me, right? What? What? I need to speak to you about Isaac's sister. No. Oh. That's it! You've crossed the line, sister. It was fun for a while, but now it's time for you to leave. Ooh, now you've done it. Now I've done it. Okay, I don't know what contrition is, but uh, let's let's pick it. Look, I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Sorry. Sorry and enough, sister. Leave. Fine, I'm going. Fine. I don't want to go. You really have a way with the fellas, kid. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. His bark is worse than his bite. I hope so. Well, um, as we haven't left the bar, I think we still have stuff to do. Let's see if Joey can uh, change his mind. Blow in his ear. I know that expression. Only time a man gets a look like that is when he's hung up over a woman. Go easy on him, huh? I think he cares more about that gal than he lets on. Probably. Nothing's changed since the last time. Okay. Joey, stop flying around, please. I know that only. Uh, what can I do? Hmm. This. Oh, we've already seen this, and this is this was probably Cecil's sister. He was just looking at her. Take a closer. Don't mind if I do. So, um. Hey, this is a classy. We gotta come. I gotta come here more often. Hey, this is a. We but the piano player kind of hates us now. So what, uh, what can we do? You just don't give up, do you? Nope. We need to talk. We need to talk. Talk about love. You loved her, didn't you? Of course I loved her. She was our heart and soul. I would've... Damn you, woman. Damn, Damn you. <laughs> I just want to play this piano and forget she ever existed. Is she Why dead? Why don't you just leave me alone? <gasps> she probably died. Sure, 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 press. So what happened, C? It's very important that you tell me. All right, all right. I don't know who you are or why you're so interested, but you're never going to leave me alone, are you? Nope. No, I won't. You were in a band together, right? Yeah, we had a band. Smart girl. Then she died. Oh, no. Then he died. Oh, no. End of story. Everyone died. About that reporter. I know nothing. Southern guy. Talk. Just leave it. Not very southern, actually, but... What was Isaac really like? That fat bastard. He was good on the sax. Oh. That was the end of his good <laughs> I points. really misread he drank, that. <laughs> he was violent. He was useless in every other way. But Sarah could calm him down. She was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. Okay, so his sister's name was Sarah. Sarah Brown. How did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was looking to start a band. And I saw them perform together. She could sing like... It was magic. Such energy. Such life. Such a waste. I see. How did she die? What happened to Sarah? She got sick. Pneumonia or something. Started coughing one day and wouldn't stop. She got better after a while, but something happened to her voice. Doctor said she would never sing again. After that, the spark just went out. She hung on for a few months, but... She just lost the will to live. Oh, poor, poor Sarah. That is, that's really sad when you lose your talent. Anything else you can tell me about Sarah? I love that woman. Even when she lost her voice, I would have given up everything for her. Heck, I would have even let her brother live with us. I should have told her. You should have. About Sarah. I told you everything. Please, just stop. Okay, okay, we'll stop. See you later. Yeah. You know, all this talk reminds me of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah. A duet. At the end of every show. Please don't make she'd us sing. sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano, if you can believe it. 
She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac. Isaac loved that silly song. They never let me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. Oh well. Oh well. What song? Hey, hey, hey tell me more. Sees. What? What was the duet that Isaac and Sarah used to play? Oh, that. It was just a short little thing. Isaac would just improv the whole thing. But Sarah's was always the same. With something like... Oh, that's beautiful. After Sarah died, Isaac would play gigs, but refused to leave the stage. He'd blow on his sax playing anything that came to mind. Feet planted like a statue. He'd just keep playing? He'd play forever if I didn't get four guys and drag him off. I think... I think he was waiting for Sarah to play with him. He was supposed to finish each show with her and... Well, in his heart he refused to believe she was dead. Oh dear. And he's still waiting for her at the bridge. Could you play that song again? Yeah. Aw. That sounds like... The type of melody they would play at a sitcom when someone is hugging someone. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's talk to the Mitchell dude again. I think we got everything out of him, or did we? Let me just check, because we still had to talk about the duet. Duet. Cecil. What? Cecil. No, he's just gonna play the song again. Never mind. See you later. Yeah. Let's go to the Mitchell dude. Oh, but such a sad story. The ghost is still waiting for his dead sister. She probably moved on. Didn't really care. Yes. Twice in one evening? Yep. Come on in, sit down. We got more info. Uh, so I want to see your article about Isaac. I'd like to read your piece about Isaac. Uh, well, I'm afraid I can't help you there. I never published it. You didn't? No, it seemed a bit in bad taste. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Hush, Joey. Although, <laughs> let's just say that. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Ah, you don't have a high opinion of journalists, do you? Well, you hear things. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'm well aware of the stereotype. I've written about deceased persons before when I felt it was in the public's interest. But Isaac, well, I felt the man deserved some peace. It's funny, though, because uh, Rosangela, which is her niece, becomes a sort of reporter. <laughs> this is funny. If you felt his story could reach people, enrich them, as you say, why didn't you publish the story? Listen, Miss Blackwell, Isaac didn't just die. You killed him. He was murdered. By you. Someone reached around his neck and strangled the life right out of him. Probably that you. puts a bit of a damper on the story I wanted to tell. So nobody will hear the story. All my notes on him have been destroyed. Isaac's story might not have reached the people, but it reached me. Maybe that's enough. You sure reached Isaac as well, and his neck, probably. I'm not sure about you. You look suspicious, but not murdery suspicious. Who was Isaac's sister? I told you, not another word. It's fine, we still... About Isaac... I told you. We already spoke to Cecil, you can tell us everything. So tell me about- I beg you. Mm. Yeah, I'm afraid of- Can we put Joey to do something? No. Well, I guess that's all we're gonna talk to you about. I think that's all for now. Alright. You have a good night now. Now, good night now. Probably be back the third time. Very, very suspicious of that dude. Um, let's go back to the promenade and see if the ghost is doing something else. If he wants to tell us something else. Ugh. Okay. Can we grab it? How am I supposed to use a ghost? I'm not. Joey? Go get uh, punched in the Hello face again. Hello again. I said let go of that. No. Just to ask some questions. About his sister. Tell me about your sister. Huh? What you want with my sis? Nothing. I just want... You stay away from my sis, you hear? Alright, Mac, relax. Get out of here! God damn it! <laughs> oh! He keeps bonking Joey in the face. I... Uh... Presents. Just what are you... What am I... Do 
What do you think? I'm get away from Ask some questions again about himself. I don't know. You're Isaac Brown, aren't you? What's it to you? So you are Isaac. How do you get away? Get get out of here. Ow! I'm running out of ideas. Hello, I see. Get out of ah. Ow! Ow! <laughs> okay, let's talk to Lauren. Let's chat a second. What's what uh? Let's brainstorm a bit. I wonder who Isaac's sister is, and why Mitchell is keeping Mum. He did say to talk to Cecil. Yeah, good luck. We did! You guys are confusing me. Our friend Isaac has certainly given us a run for our money. I don't know, Joey. I think we've nearly- You think? I hope so. Famous- Famous last words. Well, I don't really have many right, ideas. Yeah. I wonder if Jambalaya records- Nope, I can't- I don't leave- I wonder if at Jambalaya records we still have to talk to that Dwayne guy. <clears throat> it's still a, an available location, so why not? Jazzy Jazzy. Hey, Dwayne. I wonder if we have to combine anything. And Isaac Brown. So Isaac Brown had a sister. The plot thickens. Indeed. No. No connection. What about Isaac Brown with the reporter? Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. Hmm. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Hi again. Hi, Yos. Hi yourself, again. Do you know anything about Isaac Brown's sister? Sorry, no. I barely knew the guy, you know? Oh, you are no help to me. Yeah, okay. Thanks you're, for the help. You're not gonna I help. might be back. No problem. I'm never coming back. Useless. Where else can we go? Hmm. We've spoken to, every, to Cecil about everything. And the New Yorker. And the ghost. Let's go home. Let's have a chat with Joey. Why not? Joey, come here. Come here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I am so tired. I just want to relax and smoke a cigarette. You, Since when you do you need did. an excuse to smoke a cigarette? Good point. Very good point. I guess we better get out there and finish this thing. After you. We still have another probable case after this, you know, so the night is young. I guess we better... After so Isaac Brown had... Maybe this will be an easy night. Okay. Come on, let's hit the road. This place is Boresville Central. That's not what you were saying. <laughs> At least we've got his name now. Isaac Brown. Does that name mean... Afraid not, sweet. Still, a name is... Joseph Mitchell's... Yeah, interesting. Did you notice his typewriter? No. What about it? There was dust on it, and the paper was blank. That thing hasn't seen much use in a long time. Maybe he uses a pen and paper. Hmm... Maybe. Maybe, but very observant. I'm not sure if that's actually important or not. That's it for now. Yeah, well... That's it for now. Should we search something? Oh, well, let's call. Let's call all the people. Who should we call? Johnny Ivories. Busy. Busy. I better go over there in person. No. Should we look up Isaac's sister? Sarah... Uh, Brown. There's no entry for that. Yeah. Well, it's not the internet, so you probably just find a phone number or something. Um, not quite sure what else is there to do. Come on, let's get out. Right, be right behind you. I want to convince this guy that we yes. have something. I'm becoming. Come in, have a seat. Yeah, you're getting used to us now. Can I talk about your typewriter? Who was I, I told- Oh, come on! I can't just select anything! I think that- Alright, you have a good- Let me look around your office! Okay, okay. Well, in the next episode, guys, I'm gonna figure out what to do. Thanks for watching.